Hello everyone and welcome to The Council. This is a new episodic choice driven game. So something very similar to what you'd see from Telltale Games. Except it's not by Telltale, it's by Big Bad Wolf. That's the name of the developer. It's based on the secret society of the late 1700s or it's in that type of environment. And I'm hoping it's good. It looks like it could be interesting. It's like I said, it's five episodes. It's $30 for the whole thing or $7 an episode, I believe. Sorry if I got that wrong. And we're going to see if it's worth the money, if it's any good, if I get a good first impression from the first episode here. You know we do a lot of Telltale stuff around here. We do a lot of choice-based games, be like Life is Strange or pretty much anything from Telltale or anything that has choice-based stuff. We do a lot of that around here. And I'm curious to see if these guys have, have it in them to be just as good as those other things. They are talking like, hey, we actually know what we're doing, which seems a little arrogant to me, but... We'll see. Maybe they do. Maybe this is going to be the best thing we've ever played in terms of a choice-based game. I'm hoping so. I like good games. I'm rooting for this game. I want it to be great. So, we'll see, man. The Council. Let's get into it. I think this is the main character right here. I think his name's Louis. Here we go. We're in France. Should be late 1700s. 1792, sure enough. I'm excited, man. I hope it's good. How you doing? You look like you got a black eye. Stop. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. That's probably you know, why. I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. <laughs> the Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. Like poison? Probably. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Like what? Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert. <laughs> you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. Oh, Von Borschert, stop it. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Ow! Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? What? Just a few more <laughs> minutes and my concoction will be ready. Is she hinting at something? She's gotta be. Your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. Are you There's no way. That had to have you been know, a hint. I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. <laughs> You're so loud. Von Borchard. Von Borchard. Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Oh, I get to make a choice. Actor, eh, sure, I'll trust the mom. Please, be my guest, mother. Mm. Ah. Oh, thanks, mom. Oh, you brought a knife to a gunfight? Okay, we'll see how that- You gonna shoot him? Ah. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. I wonder if I would have killed him. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. 
means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. That's weird. <laughs> I feel weird now. So I wonder what would have happened if I would have acted. I guess I'll have to check that out in a difference check. I don't know. One month later. I'm really curious to play through this a couple times over to see, you know, what they actually mean by their version of our choices actually matter. You know what I mean? Are they just full of crap? Is it just another one of those? Or is it, you know, are they actually making you feel like it matters? We'll see. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like I said, we gotta hear him out, we gotta test it out, we gotta see if it's good. A game by Big Bad Wolf Studio. Yep, sure enough, so I told you before. Has an interesting style to it. Not so comic well booksy. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Bertrand's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Okay, so mommy's tracked up here. I can handle that. Episode one, the mad ones. I think there's five chapters per. Unless the prologue isn't usually the a chapter. Do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island. Oh, Mother. Searching for some long-lost <laughs> mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? People talk a lot. Alright, business with Lord Mortimer, personal reason. Oh. Let's lie! Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider <laughs> yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Is it absolutely? Sure, turn the qu I kind of want to see what she says. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here, am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right, this is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. <laughs> Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! <sighs> are you all right? Random aneurysm. What is happening? 
I got the shakies, man. Did some Mother? Jesus. Oh shit, your hand. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> so? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for me to die. I'm bleeding. <laughs> are you... you. Uh, Louis, are you all right? Uh, what's how, going do you, on? how do you know me? I didn't introduce my name, did I? Maybe I did. Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. <laughs> just bleeding from my face, no big deal. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. Uh, I don't know what that was. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. I don't know if he sees the future. Or crazy or, or what? Or if he just hasn't shoes. Can't be real. The Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Right? Like, is he just having intrusive thoughts, or like, is he having visions, or I don't know, man. Okay, so can I move faster here? Yeah, sure enough. Sub Duchess. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, I get to have a class. Imagine that. Okay, so. The occultist is a master of deception. Convinced in the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in the science and arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Detective, detective incel, ex excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in the people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from a direct approach. And a diplomat, he shines in society. A talented speaker, he avoids faux pas as he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics are his field of predilection. Choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. Oh. Okay. Well, what do you think here, dudes? Detective, occultist, or... Diplomat. Occultist sounds kind of cool. So his skills are manipulation, occultism, erudition. Okay, cool. Politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, diversion. Questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, and logic. This guy sounds dirty. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's try the occultist. Why not? The occultist unlocks all those skills right there. You have seven effort points to use for your skills. Your past granted you one skill point in manipulation. Your past granted you one skill point in psychology. And now I can just go spend them wherever, however I want, huh? Notice noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. Interesting. Conviction. Convince people with sheer force of your will and attitude. Oh. Now I have to spend three points to level up over there. Oh, okay, so I can go- Okay, so I could level up psychology to level one if I wanted to, right? Because these skills are not yet acquired is what it's telling me. So I do have the choice. Unlocks dialogue. Oh, okay. Four points before level two. So seeing as how- Okay, seeing as how we did things in our past, we already have some things sort of unlocked here. So level one, level one, level one. And then four points for higher levels here. And then I could manipulate people if I spend all three points here. I could do two points here to get psychology. 
Let's try manipulating people. Yeah, we'll be a master of manipulation. Sure. Let's validate that. Cool. Let's manipulate the Duchess. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Not at all so lie to her and not at all sorry. <laughs> and now if I take a look in the bottom left here, I apparently have points for stuff. So I'm guessing based on the choice that we did, you know, occultist, diplomat, and the other one. <laughs> Detective that we would have had a very different set of dialogue there. This one was very ooh I manipulated the crap out of this person. I'm guessing the other ones would have been like oh, yeah We got along blah blah blah, blah. Or detective would have been like yeah I saw right through their stuff due to me using my logic. I don't know. Maybe not That's what I would assume they would do with it though. Please excuse me, madam I'm sure we've met before but I don't remember where Hmm. I appreciate your honesty even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty madam it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry. I don't remember. <laughs> in the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. <laughs> Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. <laughs> Opportunities, that's, that's what I'd say. That was an opportunity lost. Okay, your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select an object that is most suggest pff, suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have it unlocked. Okay. Oh, on your mouth or on your neck? I remember kissing those lips. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Personality? Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieving your own personal goals as an occultist, right? Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Oh my god, all these effort points. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab of the menu. Immunity revealed, vulnerability revealed. The plus, press the select button to access your menu pages. Okay. Emily. Touching. So, immunity to logic. Oh, so if I would have done detective, it wouldn't have worked very well, right? So, maybe she's... Easily manipulated. I don't know. She's an English. Oh my god. <laughs> All these words are just like blah, 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 off the tip of the tongue. Emily Hillsborough is an English duchess <laughs> close to the English crown. <laughs> Very discreet about her origins. Emily only came onto the political scene after her wedding. That some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat, aristocrat on the decline. Libertarian, modern, but discreet, she has taken it upon herself to establish close ties to her peers. In a few years, she has become a favorite diplomat of the Queen, which is probably what prompted her Prime Minister, William Pitt, to take her as a private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. Hmm. As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes's invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's Island because, for nothing in the world, she would miss such famed receptions. Okay. This is the map. This is the character. Okay, have I gotten any points for any of this crap? 
No? Because I was using effort points, wasn't I? Go ahead and get some of this stuff. Either way, I can manipulate now. I don't really know what she's all prone to, but she's really strong against logic. So I thought about going logic over here, but I mean, in terms of Miss Duchess here, it's good that I didn't, right? Oh my god. So many skills. Jesus. <laughs> you know, maybe your choices really do matter, because Jesus Christ, they should give me a bunch of stuff to look through. Oh my god, charismatic presence. Okay, trusting. Occultist. Okay, so charismatic because I gained a skill point in manipulation. Trusting because I trusted my mother. Occultist because I picked occultist. Okay. Inventory. I have stuff in my inventory. Like the art the archidoxes of magic. Okay, cool. It's good to have one of those. Emily's handkerchief. Oh yeah, I suppose I do have that. So it kind of keeps track of everything here too. <gasps> Ooh, I didn't even get to read this before, this little invitation here. I'm writing you to express my embarrassment regarding the situation which I find myself. As you probably know, I invited your mother, Sarah, to join me in several weeks ago, which we had projects in common regarding your order. Ooh. Her stay was going smoothly until yesterday when your mother suddenly disappeared. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe we do know this. He w he read that at the beginning of the story. Okay, never mind. Please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Talents. Oh my god. Okay, that's, that's another tutorial. Okay. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects, as they offer very interesting improvements. I'm guessing those icons could be some of the talents. Okay! Lots to learn here. Is there stuff to look at here? Anything to touch or is that just kind of glistening on its own? Oh, looks like there might be stuff to go ahead and take a peek at here. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Okay. I think I already have effort points. I think my effort points, if I were to take a guess. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. I didn't mean to do that, but like I was saying, <laughs> I think the effort points are those little diamonds in the bottom left hand corner. So, what I have seven of them, and I can restore up to two with my jelly I picked up. You know, was there a thing for me to pick up around over here? Yeah, there was. Give me some more jelly, man. I'm gonna be so jellied. I'm gonna make these people jelly. All right, uh, I think we're okay then. I got some jelly, so I should have, assuming I'm correct about the bottom left-hand corner, I should have 11 points to use. I don't know when I can use my jellies, if I can use it mid-conversation. Uh, what's up, dude? Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What do you know about my mother, Mr. Man? He's not gonna tell me where Lord Mortimer is. I don't know why he wears a mask. Kinda looks like Vigil from Rainbow Six Siege. I bet you he wipes his image. No? Did I not select that? I thought I selected that. What can there you we tell go. me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since uh, his mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. <coughs> but no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Oh. Oh, pff, God, another skill. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost of effort points. So, I got the manipulation one. So maybe that's what I can use, seeing as how it's, that's the icon it's showing me. Maybe not. Alright, so are there any witnesses? Have you found anything here? I guess I'll just do this one. No? Oh, so I needed 
Okay, so I can't do this one because I don't have it unlocked. Crap. Did it's questioning. See anything else? <laughs> Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. You have handkerchief it? The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where I love exactly the zoom in. did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. So... Oh, I can do manipulation. Okay, cool. But I can't do these. Because conviction and logic. <laughs> You'll give me back the handkerchief. Let me have the handkerchief. I'll take care of it. And then what's this one? You will kindly give me the handkerchief. Let us say no more then. Okay, well, let's try this one. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please <laughs> forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. <laughs> I made him feel bad. It is indeed your handkerchief. He must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Digging the Jimmy Neutron. Like, think, think, think. And always just like going oh, into his own mind. Ernesis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. Yeah. Translate? Oh, because I'm part of the occult. I can do that, I guess. Yeah, go me. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend oh. to agree. Thanks. Discovered an immunity? Oh, so there's lots of- Okay, so let's take a look at all the stuff we're doing here then. So, traits, talents, blah, 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 blah. I want to take a look at some of the people here. So, who can I look at here? Journal, perhaps? Yeah. So that's me. Mortimer. He's immune to conviction. Interesting. So we don't know anything about the mom yet in terms of what she's vulnerable and immune to. I really do like the vulnerability and immunity kind of, like, thing that they have going on here. Mechanic, that's what I was trying to say. I think it's pretty cool. Now, Servants here, he is vulnerable to manipulation. I feel like he might be vulnerable to a lot of things, seeing as how we had so many different options on him. All of the servants wear a mask. It's a recurring subject of conversation among guests. No one knows the true reason. Hmm. Cool. I'm digging this, man. So, it's it's really like... You really gotta think about what we can all do here. I bet you there's a bunch of options. This is really awesome. Alright, so what what else was right here? Latin inscription. No! And I don't care. Uh, I, I don't care. Leave. I wanted to read this over here, but apparently it's the same thing, so... Oh, no? Is walking up not cool? Come on. You can do it. Come on. There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about Mother. How do I go up there? Please! There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about Mother. I'm not trying to leave. Okay, I guess I'm going to look for clues, seeing as how... That is not the way to go right now. Let's try to go to the dock. Gotta be a clue somewhere, Mamo. Right here. It's really dark. Open the gate step. Pfft, going in, duh. Use my occult skills. No. I'll never get it open barehanded. Pick the lock. Sure. That uses up some skill points. Or some effort points, excuse me. Are. So I wonder, can I just like snack on a jelly? Oh. Restores two. Oh! Oh god, I held on to it long enough and I ate a jelly. Okay, cool. I'm sure I'll find some more. There's lots of crap back here at the looks of it. What we got here? Hmm. This wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Examine. Uh huh. What have we here? 
It's cannon powder. Examine the cannon power. <laughs> powder. The powder is wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dog. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Okay. What a wasteful man. What about this? Give me that jelly. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Well, she had a pistol, didn't she? In my vision. Yeah. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. Well, I'm working on that, man. Oh, oh, more clue? A wooden floorboard. Hmm. Question where it came from. <laughs> hey, you piece of wood, where you been at? Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Hmm. Okay. That's cool, I guess. What's this? Look at how many stars there are, man. Hey. There's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Although he just, like, talks to himself all the time. So I can't do that because agility is locked, but rip up the floorboard. Why don't I just do this? Seems like a waste oh, of effort shit. points. Mm. Ah, it's not coming up. I'll never manage it barehanded. Okay. I need something to lever it with. Well, time to go find a lever. If I was a lever, where would I be? Lever it to beaver. Sorry. More jelly. Okay. So, I need something to go ahead and crack that open with. Let's keep looking around. What about you? Like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. So they give you... Okay, so there's definitely like a lot of stuff to look around for in here, right? What about you? Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. I got some rope now. So you have to explore your environment a little bit, which is just cool as long as it doesn't get too... Too sneaky sneaky on us. What about this? A sack of seeds. A so sack of seed. No one seems to have used any. This should work here. This should be a good lever. Who says lever? It's like a bar from an old gate. British this people? This miserable bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. And the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. I do not look at things and think this, dip this deeply about them. When I see a bar on the ground, I'm like, oh, there's a bar on the ground. I don't go, mm, look at the clean edges and the, and the, and the black tip. This might just come in handy. Yeah, it will. Of course it will. Go stuff it in your video game pockets. What is this? this chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. <laughs> I mean, I think we kind of saw the chest so that belonged to Mrs. Miss Duchess. Okay, I feel like they kind of did that on purpose to kind of create her character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this over here. Cracker open. Boom. That does it. That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother oh. used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? <sighs> Manuscripts. Allow you to educate yourself during an adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent Oh, permanent skill points. Okay. Let me read this again. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. And there's quests in this game, I guess. Find your manuscripts, okay. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, key. a few toiletries, key. a small key, and some kind of black powder. I guess I have a lot to examine here, but I kind of want to just take the bag. An iron key completely rusted. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Oh, that is kind of something to think about. Like, if I take the bag, 
What if she needs this stuff? Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. And some oils and <coughs> her powder puff. What does all this mean? So I can take this bag. Yeah, what about this black powder? The bag is covered in black powder. And judging by its consistency, it's the same type of powder that I found earlier. This just gets better and better. I take it? So I'll leave right. the bag. That's enough. I think I better leave her bag here. If she hid all this, it's because she thought she might need it later. Right. I'm crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. I feel bad taking the key now. Oh, God. Let's go up to the manor here, I guess. You know, there's probably more clues. Okay, so I did like that. That was a choice where you're like, oh, God. What do I do with this? I feel like the mother's not going to be okay, to be honest, but I don't know. That was pretty interesting to feel that. All right, let's go up here. Can I go up here now? Is that allowed? Look for more clues or go to the manor. I can go now, right? How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? I don't know. How'd they build anything back then, man? It's all beyond me. You look at, like, ancient Egyptians and stuff like that, too? Like, how are they building all this crap? It blows my mind. I'm not a- I'm not a building builder, man. Could never do it. This is interesting so far. I'm kind of taking this. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually pretty good. There's a lot going on. But it's pretty good so far. What's up, Zeus? Whoa. Impressive. I'm assuming that ah, my son. looks like him. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Riche, aren't you? Riche. You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only mother had told me why she was coming here. Uh -huh. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. So I gotta Listen, persuade him? If it will help, you can always give it to me. Confrontation. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Oh god, they have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Oh boy. Oh boy. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how convinced they are. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Never mind. Give me your letter. <laughs> I guess I'll try this. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. Okay. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. That's she good. has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. Yeah. <sighs> only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? Uh, well, it said use my skills, I guess, so I guess I'll do it. Be it mother or myself, our motto has always been discretion in all things. And to promise to never betray a word of honor. Was your secret safe with mother? It will be even more so with me. 
You have convinced me. The mystery with which your mother manages her business proves that she carries your motto close to her heart. Your words seem sincere, my son. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh. Time to eat a thingy. Pretend I don't want it so I can manipulate him? Yes, I'll give it to her. You can count on me. <laughs> nah, I don't want it. You can keep it, Mr. Man. Look, <laughs> you seem hesitant. The simplest thing to do is just to give it to her when you see her. After all, it's not that urgent. Yes. I mean, yes, it's urgent. I mean, what if we don't find each other here on the island? Though I don't know yet when I'll be leaving. I might not be staying for very long. Hmm, what to do? Can you see a solution? <laughs> Come so on. Dumb. Just give me the letter for crying out loud. I cannot run the risk alone. I am going to trust you. You seem like an honest man. We did it. Bingo. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Oh boy, confrontation last step. Oh boy. For the last step of the confrontation, you must convince the person you are either talking by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until... Either you have a right one, or you have no blunders left. Okay, so I have three blunders, so I can really dig this up, right? So, we- un unless there's like six options, we should have this. <laughs> okay, no worries. Promise- oh god, I feel like I don't believe in his god is like... He looks like he's a pretty god dude, you know what I mean? Okay, I guess I'll try Your it. Your eminence, that is just not possible for me. Why is that? I have always had a Cartesian mind, and I won't make false promises. I respect you too much for that. I spend my time trying to find logical and reasonable answers to problems which, at first glance, seem supernatural. I'm not saying I don't believe in God as a concept. I just don't believe in the God of your sacred texts. Oh, God. And I don't want to lie to you. Even though your answer does shock me, my son, I shall only hear your honesty. I did good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Richesse. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Oh. Without your mother, hundreds of men the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Hidden elements. Many clues and the items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so you don't hesitate to look for them. Now it's time to go look around. Interesting. Piaggi's letter. So, this has been a bit of the council so far. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I think it's pretty interesting. I'm engaged in it. I don't know. I, I like it. I, I'm not going to say I don't like it. I definitely do. I want to play more. I want to finish it. I want to see what it's all about. I, I'm trying... Try, like, I don't really have a good gauge as to how differently all these conversations can play out. I do feel like there's a bunch of different ways to play this out, right? Because of the three different classes. Will the overall flow of the story change a ton? Uh, that's yet to be seen. I don't know. But it's pretty cool so far. I like it. I think it's cool. And again, if you guys want to see more, let me know what you thought in the comments. Go ahead and leave a like if you haven't already. And then I'll see you in the next video, which I plan on getting up pretty soon. So make sure you're subscribed. 
So you can see the next video when it comes out, and maybe we'll live stream it. We'll see. I have a Twitch link down available in the description as well. And then all things looking positive here, we'll continue out this game and we'll finish it, okay? So thank you guys. You guys are awesome. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.